Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX Show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. Today we'll be looking at some Starship Super Heavy updates, progression in Boca Chica and how the Starship SM3 rocket is currently progressing. There has been a lot going on as usual, so let's take a look. Let's begin with some more news on Raptor progression. Elon Musk recently tweeted that they have both horizontal and vertical Raptor test stands operating at their McGregor facility in Texas. Here is a shot of the Raptor engine serial number 18 being tested on their new vertical test stand. Musk also recently provided more info on Super Heavy saying slight booster length increased to 70 meters so 120 meters for the whole system, lift off mass approximately 5000 metric tons. Elon Musk also said that the design for Starship is rapidly evolving and said would be great to flatten domes, embed engines and add approximately one and a half barrel sections of propellant for same total length. Also apparently the legs are currently a bit too small. Here is a great diagram which shows why it would be a good idea for SpaceX to flatten the domes. It makes sense so that they can get more out of the space available. Let's also have a quick look at the SN2 tank which recently performed a successful water and cryo pressure test. It was recently returned to the construction area on this big roll lift which is used to transport the Starship vehicles to and from the test area. Hopefully soon we will see SN3 go in the opposite direction. Now let's jump into the action at the construction site with some more work on the high bay which as you can see is almost complete. The structure will be a vehicle assembly building for Starship and so it will be interesting to see how it evolves over time. Here you can see they've recently installed an internal elevator most likely to be used for better access to the vehicle's entry point. Up next a little look at more work going on with the facilities in Boca Chica. Here you can see we have some workers putting up more of that third tent with SpaceX trying to speed up the production of these vehicles. It also appears that the foundations from the last video are for yet another tent going up. Here you can see the metal frame being constructed. There is another new building being constructed. Not sure what it will be, so let's see what it becomes. But I just love how the construction area is constantly evolving. Now it's time for us to look at SM3. Firstly, the nose cone has been stacked and looks ready to start attaching to the ring segments soon. But I think for now they're just focusing on the tank segments. Here you can see them assembling that tank section in the high bay but it appears that there is a reasonably sized dent in the upper ring. However, I'm sure it's not too much of a problem since it's not looking too bad and as you can see from this video, the welding going on inside is helping. Here we have a great shot of the new thrust puck design. As you can see, it's looking a lot more robust and much higher quality. SpaceX is trying to make sure they can actually start testing these machines properly soon. If you remember, the SM1 tank popped at the thrust puck to dome world, so SpaceX definitely upgraded the quality here. As you can see from this footage, the thrust puck section has already been mated with the engine section. SpaceX are really pushing ahead with the stacking of SM3, so hopefully in the next week or so, this vehicle should be almost complete. I just want to show you this fantastic diagram from Raphael Adami, showing what parts of SM3 sections belong to what parts of Starship. NASA Spaceflight added a comment on one of their recent videos from March 9th saying as we thought SM3 stacking is happening at pace and we know SM4 bulkheads are being worked on inside tents. So hopefully soon we'll start seeing SM4 being born. I want to say a massive thank you to all the people who supply this incredible footage. Without them we wouldn't be able to get these detailed insights. Huge thanks to Mary otherwise known as Boca Chica Girl who is always on site providing fantastic footage for NASA Spaceflight. Also, huge thanks to Space Padre Isle or S Padre for providing fantastic footage of activities and live streams of places such as the launch pad. You are all amazing. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.